This is for you uh, folks out there that like to grow bananas in pots and have to uh, bring them in for the winter months. What you're looking at there are three Musa Akia bananas. So those are dwarf Cavendish bananas and it's uh, January 17th today. And I brought those into the house, uh, I guess it would have been probably late October, mid to late October. And uh, the key to keeping bananas happy through the winter is uh, don't overwater them. Give them plenty of light and warm temperatures. Now, I used to store them in my dark basement and I put a little light bulb in there and they just hated it. And uh, I probably overwatered them at that point too thinking they're too dry. So what happens? A lot of times the soil dries out on top. So you think the whole plant is needing water. So you pour the water to them and pour the water to them and the water just keeps sitting around those roots and the top just keeps drying out and they're getting waterlogged, right? So you gotta put your finger in there or lift up the pot, feel how heavy, that's, that's still got a lot of plenty of moisture in it. So I don't need to water those even though the top of the soil looks a little bit dry. So see they're putting up pups, I've got avocados growing in there too. I always put avocado seeds everywhere. But anyway, you can see they're opening leaves here. They're unfurling leaves and they are really happy. I have them by uh, the French door windows here so they get plenty of light. And when the sun comes down in through here, it beams right onto these bananas. So that's the key to overwintering bananas inside during the colder winter months. You know, and they'd probably be out, out, you know good outside right now because we just haven't had the frost, but they wouldn't be happy because it's only about uh, seven degrees Celsius out there, which is about 44, 45 degrees Fahrenheit, which isn't good for these bananas. So anyway, these are looking good and I will put them back out in the spring and I'm gonna have to uh, step them up a pot side. These are in two gallon pots right now. So we'll put them into uh, five gallons. And I got those at Home, Home Depot, believe it or not, really cheap. They were like 3.99 each, they were tiny. So they grow pretty good. And hopefully we'll get a crop of bananas on those one day. But I'm quite pleased is the way they're overwintering right now. You can see the leaving on furl there too, a new one coming out. So those are happy bananas here on Salt Spring Island.